Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm Andrew Knox in for Gordon. America can't stop Israel from going to war with Hezbollah. That's what a U.S. envoy told Lebanese officials recently. Still, the U.S. is urging Israel to find a diplomatic solution with the terror group. At the same time, one Israeli official is warning America to keep an eye on Iran, the greatest threat to the future of the world. CBN's Julie Stahl reports. The U.S. is warning Hezbollah that it can't stop Israel from going to war to stop the terror group's daily attacks on the north. Hezbollah's provocations threaten to drag the Israeli and Lebanese people into a war that they do not want. Still, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is urging Israel's visiting defense minister to seek a diplomatic solution. Another war between Israel and Hezbollah could easily become a regional war with terrible consequences for the Middle East. Yoav Gallant says Israel is determined to establish security in the north and bring back some 80,000 citizens evacuated from their homes. He urged the U.S. to focus on heading off another threat, Iran getting nuclear weapons. The greatest threat to, to the future of the world and the future of our region is Iran, and time is running out. Inside the country, Israel's Supreme Court ruled Tuesday that ultra-Orthodox young men must now serve in the military. The community, which now has 65,000 young men, has been exempt from military draft since 1948, when Israel's first prime minister allowed 400 students to study full-time as a spiritual blessing to the state. And broader Israel said that there needs to be equality. How can there be tens of thousands who are being exempt from military service when everyone else is serving? Former Knesset member Dove Lipman tells CBN News some of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition partners are ultra-Orthodox who don't want their people drafted. There's no way these ultra-Orthodox parties can stay in a government where that's the government policy, and that could collapse the government and lead to a new election. And in what could be considered a local U.S. victory for Israel, Democrat Representative Jamal Bowman was defeated in a New York primary race. Bowman had accused Israel of genocide in Gaza, and his defeat is seen as a referendum on progressives' attitudes toward Israel. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, certainly lost in the news in recent months are those 80,000 Israeli citizens evacuated and displaced. And this ruling from Israel's court that ultra-Orthodox young men must now serve. I mean, it's been since 1948 this law was in effect, so things are really heating up. Many in Lebanon concerned about war, so let's please keep the entire region in prayer.